So this is a workaround. I screwed up already and went through a part of the golf course you don't want to go through. But you'd be coming up along Forest Street here, so there's not much to see, just a typical walk down a traffic loaded and mildly menacing suburban street, but your hint that a trail might be involved would of course be these don't run over the human signs. So we, this is where we enter Babson College campus and the trail runs along it for a bit. Now we follow this bit. Let's see where it goes. Nice to have this little segment done. Ah. <laughs> He's got blazes on poles. <laughs> Which tell us to go this way. This, this is kind of funny. I wonder how they dreamed up this strange set of zig and zag permissions. Looks like this might be our way out of here. Couldn't please me more, of course. Ooh, a plaque. This commemorates the organization in Wellesley on January 9th, 1915 of the Society to Eliminate Economic Causes of War. Whoa, Roger Babson was involved. Don't think it worked though. Jeez, it's noisy. business and it looks like we have a nice clean simple route out of here ah turn maybe indicate I spoke too soon <laughs> okay so we go here. Oh, I see, then up here. So it's a lot of street schlepping. They're making sense of this mess. There we go. This takes us 
Well, we're into the Olin side of the house. Oh yeah, and some kind of blazing reappears. Now yeah, we gotta go this way. Let's see if we can figure out where exactly. Must be over here. Things are beginning to show up somewhat more regularly. Figuring out this campus maze is probably the most challenging element. And we evidently just follow this little sidewalk. Comforted by the thought that there's a 20 mile an hour speed limit. Yeah, nice liking. And we came from that complicated maze of higher education over there. And it looks like at long last, we're going back into some woods and I can't couldn't be happier about that little development. So we cross here and see the trail once more rejoins the forest primeval. Probably dipping into Needham in the course of it all. Nice. This is the sort of thing I'd rather be in. <laughs> Onward through the fog, as they say. Oh, more grapes. turning away from this cluster of noisy activities. There's a rare erratic. I haven't ran into many of those. <laughs> it kind of looks like we're rejoining the old aqueduct. Cool. So we came from there and there's some helpful blazes. An erratic decorated with a tennis ball. And a woodsy trail beckoning ahead. Oh, there's a pleasant smell of some kind. Bergamot or Joe Pie weed fragrance. I don't know what that stuff actually smells like. Whatever it is, it's flowery and pleasing. So this particular stretch has lots of interesting transitions.
better than the joining wetland I see, but one that seems to be missing its host of eager mosquitoes. aforementioned Joe Pie weed stuff. <laughs> Doesn't have much in the way of fragrance to commend it. thing. Ooh, look at that old relic. It's been feeding quite a few critters I'd say. We came from there which follows a tortured little maze segment through Babson College and Olin College campus. The golf course is momentarily involved, a street or two, and the backbone of the old Sudbury Aqueduct, which I think is what we're on again. Or something like it. Woohoo! A little boardwalky thing. leading off to some other adventure. <laughs> the campus, no doubt? Probably. <laughs> 